Hey guys, Matthew here. In this video, I'm going to talk about a different kind of geometry, which in a lot of ways doesn't really exist, but um, kind of also does. It's quite confusing to talk about it in that way. Um, so it's kind of like a helper geometry, if I could kind of describe it that way. It doesn't need to exist. It doesn't logically have to um, be there, but it is useful um, to kind of save on computation because there's easy, better ways to define these kinds of objects um, than you know the complexity of what they actually are. So it doesn't really need to exist but you should probably know about them in case you see it come in in the, um, the command line and you just when you read it just assume that it's effectively a um, polysurface. So I'm going to make a box and you'll notice that when I make a box that it doesn't say um, when I go down uh, and I select it, it says one extrusion added to selection. Okay, what's well, an extrusion, right? And I, I explode it and I join it again, and it now says that it's a polysurface. So there is a slight difference between these two objects here. This being a extrusion and this being a polysurface, which was once an extrusion. But, you know, the difference is not that big. This can be described as a polysurface, but it's far more efficient to be described as a extrusion than a polysurface. So this idea was introduced in Rhino 5. It didn't exist in Rhino 4 or earlier. So before that, when you would type um, box, you would get a polysurface out by definition. Now, I'm going to type in a command called solid pt on, and this is effectively the points on command for, for um, uh, polysurfaces. So if I select this point, I can move it up, or like that more correctly and you'll notice that once I do that it becomes a polysurface so I'm going to undo that and let's see what happens if I move all four there we go move vertically it becomes a polysurface again so that's an interesting one and I can also use the solid points on command here to move this point over there or over there. Now, so what should be highlighted by this is that these two things are effectively identical. The reason why the extrusion exists is that really if I know that it's just a prism, so it's an extruded section of something, then I know that it's constant all the way through. So I actually only need to remember what the cross section looks like and how tall it is. So from the computer's perspective that takes a lot less memory well, than this would, um, than remembering every single face as a surface. So it's a geometry type that's only there, I'm like I've said this what, five times already, it's a geometry type that's only there to save on memory. So that's the extrusion. So when you see an extrusion it's just a polysurface. See you in the next video.